breaking news. A new episode of Let's Be Frank starting now. Hello all. You you saw the title of the video, you clicked on it, you know why you're here. We're gonna ride every Magic Kingdom ride in a day. We're gonna see if it's possible. It's very possible, right Liz? We're gonna do it. Yeah. We put it in the title, we're gonna do yeah, it. Yeah, we're not gonna lie to you guys. This is gonna be easy, it's gonna be fun, and I, uh, I hope you're gonna be with us the whole way. Let's, Let's go. go. Our first stop was Buzz Lightyear's Space Ranger Spin. It tends to get pretty busy throughout the day, so getting it out of the way first and early seemed like a good idea. We decided to go over to the Storybook Circus for the Barnstormer, where a Disney employee had his ears bleeding by the nearby train. Rounding out the last of only two rides in Storybook Circus, we're on Dumbo now. And the cutest part about this ride is that there are peanut shells embedded in the sidewalk. Absolutely adorable. Doesn't work for either of us. That's okay. We're flying low today. <laughs> Over at the Mad Tea Party, you can either take it slow or make whoever you're riding with try to vomit. I like to make people vomit. <laughs> After all the ridiculous spinning, we made our way to Ariel's Undersea Adventure to see some of my favorite Disney characters. Yes, indeed. Oh, she's such a babe. The many adventures of Winnie the Pooh was perfectly pleasant, but a little simple. It's almost like it was a ride for children. Following Winnie the Pooh, we next moved on to Prince Charming's Carousel, uh, a ride I tend to always skip because it's just a boring carousel. Okay, roll call. We have done seven rides. Yes. Yes, and we're making really good time. Two and a half hours. It's eleven thirty. Yes. It's eleven thirty. Yeah. Winnie the Pooh saved us a lot of time because it was like supposed to be forty minutes. Only ended up being like twenty or less than even. So I mean, it's fantastic. Yeah, Carousel. Um, yeah, Prince Charming. Carousel. It screwed us. Slowed us down a little bit. <laughs> yeah, that was like um, over twenty minutes. We're about to go on Peter Pan, which is estimated eighty. We got to so, get it out of the way eventually. Yeah. It's gonna be that all day. It's not even a good ride. No. Oh, it sucks. Let's go. Uh, let's do it. While Peter Pan's flight is not the most fun ride, it does have the second most pirate representation. Over here at It's a Small World, the park's most infamous ride with the catchiest tune, we got in a pretty decent wait time. Watch out for spitting camels over at the Magic Carpets of Aladdin. And unlike Dumbo, our controls actually worked. I have the power to tilt us. <laughs> I have the power to go up and down. Oh no. <laughs> Well, time to move on to what I think is the most boring and underwhelming ride in all of Magic Kingdom, the Tomorrowland Speedway. I think the only enjoyment anybody can get out of this is ironic enjoyment. I, I am a bad driver! <laughs> <laughs> I'm just being a passenger princess, got my foot on the gas. Yeah, she's in charge of the gas. I do I'm like how the steering. Yeah, I do like how... Do you want me to slow down? No, go as fast as you can. Why do you keep doing these extreme... Because I'm trying to coise correct. Just do it a little bit. That's not how you drive in real life. You, you don't know how I drive in real life. I've driven with you. Oh, yeah. <laughs> It 
it's a great big beautiful tomorrow. My favorite ride as long as I'm ignoring the sexist comments coming from the dad. The Jungle Cruise notoriously has one of the longest wait times in the park. Time to brave the jungle. Alright everybody, we are right in front of the new Tron ride. And the goal, we, we, we've waited all day to do this. Well, we put in our virtual queue at like 7 a.m. Right at 7, we queued up, we're yeah. in boarding group 98. Yeah, 94 or 94. something. It's yeah. 432 now. Yeah, we we've made it through more than half the rides. This is new ride number number 14, and we've only got like seven more to go after that. Yeah. Some of them they aren't going to be that long a wait. Some of them like Space Mountain and Thunder Mountain, they're like 70 or more right now. We're we're gonna do it though. We're pushing we're against the clock, but we've got this. We need Coca Cola. Yeah, something yeah, with caffeine. We got this. <laughs> All right, see y'all in a minute. This was both of our first times getting to ride Tron. If you can get into the virtual line, do it. Yes, next up is the People Mover. I absolutely love this ride. It's so simple, but so fun. You get a view of Tomorrowland. It's just the best. And on top of that, it takes you through Space Mountain. Astro Orbiter notes that you can fit two to three people in your rockets. What they don't tell you is that it won't fit two adults. Next up is Pirates of the Caribbean, the most immersive ride in the park, and a lot of people might just say, the most fun. Loaded into the first cart of Big Thunder Mountain Railroad Ride, we were launched <laughs> tonight. Roll sound. Rolling. Sound production take two. After being loaded into the first cart of Big Thunder Mountain Railroad, the ride launched us underneath a sky full of fireworks. Ugh, this one was rough, guys. Next up is the Haunted Mansion. And the fireworks had just let out as we were getting in line. We thought it was going to be a 25-minute wait. It ended up being a whole lot more. Uh, we were tired, but we made it through. And this is still, in my opinion, one of the best rides in the park. Finally, we dragged our weary feet to the last ride of the night, the Seven Dwarves Mine Train. Uh, now, now, you may be wondering, uh, there is one ride we haven't talked about. Space Mountain, one of the most well-known roller coasters in all of Disney. Well, unfortunately, Space Mountain was closed for the majority of the day. Not our fault, you know, not our fault. But we did ride the People Mover, which takes you through Space Mountain. So that counts, right? Right, Liz? Right. We were on the mountain. We were in the mountain. We were the mountain. Exactly. So we did Space Mountain. I don't want to hear any other arguments or complaints. We did everything. Well, everybody, we did it. Liz and I successfully rode every single Magic Kingdom ride in a day. I didn't think we'd be able to, but you know what? No casualties suffered. Ah, oh, crap, we lost Liz. But for real, guys, this was an incredible endeavor. We have been in the park for over 13 and a half hours, which is crazy. It's gone by really fast, but also we feel it. Yeah. We definitely feel it. 
But if you enjoyed this video and you want to see more Disney content in general with old Liz here, our special guest that I didn't mention at the beginning of the video. My name's Liz, by the way. Yeah, you guys have seen her a couple times before. Uh, why don't you like this video and subscribe if you haven't already. Follow my Instagram and Facebook, Frank 2020 and Liz. Oh, I was just going to say, and look out for our video in a week or two where we rank all of the rides. Yes, we're, we are officially doing a tier list of all Magic Kingdom rides. So look forward to that. Until next, and say with me, until, until next, next time. time. There we go.